everybody. Welcome to Jenny Fit Start, your go-to fitness channel for active seniors and beginners. I hope you like this workout. I'm going to show you my top favorite 10 exercises you can do in a seated position that's going to give you a full body workout. All you need is a chair and a pair of hand weights. If you don't have hand weights, grab a, two soup cans or two water bottles and just follow along with me and have fun. All right, everybody, let's get started. You're gonna to wanna to sit in a really sturdy chair. It can have arms or no arms, whatever you want. But I would like for you to see if you could stay seated on the edge of your chair. And that will help with your posture so that we're not relaxed back. So let's all sit up on the edge of our chair, grab your hand weights, and let's take three deep inhales and exhale. On our inhale, let's sit up straight and exhale and last one inhale up and as we exhale we're going to stay in this great posture we're going to keep our abdominals in and we're going to keep our chest high we're going to start with some upper body exercises and these are called bicep curls grab your weights and let's put them in a hammer grip position which means palms in and we're going to do 10 times with one at a time two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're gonna do another set of 10, but this time we're gonna do an underhand grip and we're gonna try them together at the same time. Here we go. One, big range of motion, bend as much as you can and straighten the arm as much as you can. Go at any speed that works for you. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very nice. When we want to rest, we want to take the weights out of our hands and just kind of shake it off or whatever you need to do. Maybe you need to sit back in your chair and relax your lower back and core a little bit. If not, we're ready to move to the next one. It's called a chest press. We're going to bring our, our, excuse me, our hands right by our chest level. And what we're going to do is push forward and then bring it back. You'll notice my palms are in and then I pull back, chest and upper back. Here we go, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Way to go, you did awesome. Let's bring our weights down, shake it out, and let's move right into some internal external rotation to work on our rotator cuffs. Plant your elbows really closely into your rib cage and we're gonna do 10 singles and then 10 doubles. Ready, go. One, let's make sure we keep our elbows in. Three, and remember, you don't have to do, you don't have to use weights to do this workout. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. So let's try it with both of them together. Here we go. Elbows in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. We're gonna let the arms rest a little bit. And I would like for you to put your weights on the ground if you can and we're going to sit up tall and what I'd like for you to do is try and bring your right leg to the side 
and back in. Now left leg to the side and back in. You'll notice I'm not twisting my body, I'm using my hips, just like a door would open up, all right? Let's try 10, don't worry, I've already started counting. Four, five, these are great for mo hip, hip mobility. Six, seven. If you're unable to lift your leg, you could slide it on the ground. Nine, 10. Now I'd like to show you a little harder option if that was too easy. You could try using both of your legs at the same time, like this, one. Now you'll notice we're using a little bit more lower abs. We gotta lift both hips at the same time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. I'd like to show you even a harder option if you feel up for it. We're gonna add our arms. So let's grab our weights. We're gonna put them here. As we extend the legs out, we're gonna extend the arms up. So it's gonna look kind of like a jumping jack. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Remember, this is just an option. If you like the other versions better, you could do that. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yes, very nice, y'all. All right, we're gonna move into the triceps, which is the muscle in the back of the arms, and these are called kickbacks. And in order to do it, you might need to angle yourself. I have arms in my chair, so I definitely need to angle myself. If you don't, you may not have to. We're gonna lean forward, elbow up, push the weight behind you, and bring it back. Ready? Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven. You'll notice I'm not swinging, I have control. Good form. Three, trying to straighten my arm as much as I can. And one more. And then we need to switch sides. So I'm gonna kinda angle myself over here. Bend at the waist, elbow up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful work. All right, this next one, I need you to kind of scoot back in your chair, lift one leg up so that it's straight, and we're gonna do ankle pumps, which means we point the toes and then we flex the foot. And we're gonna do it 20 times, and it's gonna be kind of quick. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. You got it? Keep going. 10 more. One, two, And that makes 20, so we're gonna switch legs. Make sure you tighten that kneecap and pump. One, two, Ten more. And ten. Beautiful work. Let's scoot to the front of our chair again. That was a nice little rest for our back. And these are called overhead presses. We're going to do ten singles and ten doubles. You can hold your palms in or facing me, whatever feels more comfortable. I'll do them facing in. Ready? One. Ooh, I'm a little out of the screen. Oh well. You get it. Our goal is to straighten your arm as much as you can. 
If this bothers your shoulder, you could punch it out here instead. Great job, keep going. And guess what? I have lost track of counting. <laughs> so we're gonna do about four more. Four, three, two, and one. Very nice, we can rest by unloading the weights a little bit, but we're not done yet. We're gonna do 10 doubles. This time I'll try it with my palms out to show you. Ready? And I'll make sure I count this time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Really nice work. Let's put our weights down, shake it out. Now we're going to work a little bit of shoulders and obliques, which are the muscles to the side of our abs. This exercise, we only need one weight, so let's put one down. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring our arm out here and we're going to turn our body so our elbow hits our knee and we bring our arm right back. Now remember, you don't have to use a weight. This just adds intensity. Ready? And one, two, three. I'm giving a nice little curl to my stomach here. Four, five. So we have five more. And 10. Ooh, that's good stuff. Let's switch to the other side and begin. eight, nine, and 10. Very nice, relax, unload your weight. This next one is very, very, very similar. It's opposite arm, opposite leg, but instead of twisting, we're gonna be kicking and punching. So let's put your weight in your left hand and we're gonna be kicking our right foot while we kind of punch our arm towards our foot and then we bring back, got it? Let's go, here we go. One, two, three, four. Are you breathing? Five, make sure you are. No holding breaths. Two more. And 10. Let's switch, maybe on this one, try counting out loud with me and see if it makes a difference with your breathing, ready? One, count out loud, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Y'all are awesome. Let's put our weight down for our final exercise. It's just really good for our low back. We're going to scoot to the edge of our edge of our edge of our chair. Keep our back straight. Kind of arch your back. Chin is up. We're going to lean forward. You'll notice my back is straight. And then I sit back up. So we're not doing this. We're not curling. We're keeping our back nice and flat, nice and arched. Ready? And one. Two, three, four, five. Good, y'all. Five more. And one more. Beautiful work. Can I give you just a few stretches before you get out of here? Let's lift up. Grab a wrist and lean to the side. You did amazing. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Let's go to the other side. And now let's put our hands behind our back or our chair. Pull the shoulder blades together, chin up. 
and reverse the stretch by interlocking our fingers. Stretch forward, chin down. And finish up by extending our legs. Heels are down, toes are up. Arch our back and let's lean forward for a hamstring stretch. And we'll sit up tall. We'll bring our knees in. This time we lean all the way forward, grab our thighs, chin down. And we'll walk ourselves all the way up and give yourselves a big hand. Thank you for tuning in. You did a great job. I'm so proud of you. I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. I appreciate it. And if you have a couple of minutes, stay tuned for this next little video that describes my membership group, how I can be closer to you and be a little bit more connected to you and work as your health and fitness coach. Have a great day. Hey y'all, I am so, so excited. I have some great news about my YouTube channel. After posting lots of videos, I am realizing my favorite part, my love, is really connecting through you with your comments and even our Facebook page. So now, there is an easy and great way we can really connect with each other. It's called a YouTube channel membership and YouTube just approved mine, yay! So that is why you're seeing a join button right next to the subscribe button on my page. Now please know my current YouTube channel, Jenny Fitstart, is not going anywhere. It's not going to change and all those videos will still be free to you. But here is the new exciting addition. If you join my membership channel, you will become a part of the group, Jenny's Fit Bunch. Okay, so let me explain what that is. If you click join, you will pay a $9.99 monthly membership fee, just like a gym membership fee, but cheaper. So what does that give you? Oh my gosh, lots, get ready, okay. It's the exciting part. First, a live class once a week. Yep, you heard me right, once a week. So each week, you will join me live for a one hour class. Now this will vary, but the format will always include cardio, strength training, and stretching. And guess what? You can comment during the class. How fun will that be? It will feel like you are taking one of my classes in person. And guess what? If you can't make the class, it will be archived into a library so you can do it anytime. This video will only be exclusively for Jenny's Fit Bunch. Okay, second, you get a pre-recorded personal training session once a week. Yes, I will videotape myself leading you through a 30 minute lesson, which will target age appropriate and safe exercises to help with building bone and muscle strength, increase balance, improve posture, aid in weight loss, and increase flexibility. Each week will be fun and different. You will never know what I have up in my sleeves. Now, these private lessons will only be available to Jenny's Fit Bunch. And then third, you get no more mid-roll ads. Yes, those disruptive ads in the middle of my videos will now be turned off on any new videos that I add on this channel. So to review, for only $9.99 a month, you get new videos with no ads, one live fitness class a week, and one recorded personal training session a week. Seriously, that comes out to be close to a dollar a class and a dollar a personal training session. I really did wanna make this affordable. And guess what? You can cancel at any time. Y'all, I promise I am committed to you. I am committed to this new channel and I am committed to helping you get strong, stay happy and healthy and build relationships with all of you. It truly brings me so much joy and with over 28 years experience and being a licensed physical therapist, you will be in safe hands with me. So let's connect. Go to my channel, Jenny Fitstart and click join today. I thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. Now let's have some fun and get moving.